fourth industrial revolution is really about the unprecedented networking of humans and machines. And what's interesting about the fourth is just how fast this is happening. And it's predicated on the back of very powerful computers now that we're seeing every year uh, become more capable, roughly a doubling of capability. And what that means today is that in just 15 years time, we will have access to computers that are 1,000 times more powerful than the ones that we're using today. So the fourth industrial revolution matters for businesses beyond manufacturing because it's about those fundamentals of productivity and competitiveness. So many companies, small companies as well, are using digital tools and they're finding new ways of doing things that, that help reduce costs. Digitization in the future will increasingly be about being remotely connected, being able to collaborate in real time with people on the other side of the planet, being able to remotely engage, for example, to solve problems, or indeed for the technology in conjunction with artificial intelligence to be able to diagnose uh, in advance of, of problems going wrong with a machine. But I think for me the big one is that digital technology enables new ways of thinking about your business, actually enabling new business models. There are some serious risks for businesses doing nothing and there are some very high profile examples of that if you think about a company like Kodak, the world leader in film photography that missed the digitization of that sector. But I think the challenge is how do you turn it into an opportunity? How do you embrace today? So getting going with industrial digital technology doesn't mean necessarily an end-to-end -end investment uh, in technology at, at high cost. But taking a, a pilot step to develop skills to do build confidence and competence I think is key and I would recommend four essential steps to digitalization for, for business. The first of those is to think about data, um, how important that is and, and where to put that, where to access that. The second is about the mechanisms through which you bring data back um, and then are able to work on it. The third is cyber security and thinking about the safety of your data, either in your business or, or, or in transit. And the fourth is data services, thinking more about how you can not just extract but exploit data for your business. What we can also see is that those countries that are making progress have got levels of government intervention that have been quite helpful. You know, in France, the Industry du Futur initiative is helping co-invest between government and manufacturing plants in machinery upgrades. So I think there's recognition that, that there's a, a collaboration needed policy instruments from government certainly, the innovation institutions that bring people together for those conversations, but just as importantly, the, the finance behind an investment being understood um, so that you know, companies can, can make a, a digital step, can uh, undertake an investment. Brexit is the new dynamic that we face. I'm encouraged by government responding with uh, an industrial strategy that will certainly help. But I think what's key is that we continue to look at our competitiveness, our productivity. I think that is increasingly going to be enabled by digital tools and indeed in some sectors like agriculture and food and beverage, it may well be that the tipping point, the point at which automation makes more sense, uh, we might reach sooner. We've got fantastic computing capability, fundamental research and deployment. Um, we've got a high level of computer usage in retail, for example, already. On the third industrial revolution, you could argue we largely missed out on investing in automation. But I think this is the, uh, this is the opportunity that presents itself with investment in technology and skills in thinking about our leadership and ambition. Those things come together to represent a great opportunity for us to lead in a Brexit Britain in a global fourth industrial revolution. Thank you.